August, we have nearly doubled our yearly intake of rain. We've received over six and a half inches of rain. When we started the month, we had only had seven all year, so that has cut the deficit down to under four inches uh, on the deficit for the year. We've had nearly 14 inches of rain, and hopefully we can get more in the rain bucket because we definitely need it, although this was a great start to try to alleviate the drought. These are the estimates for the last three days going back to Saturday. You see a lot of locations, uh, especially south of Live Oak and Bee counties, a lot of locations between five and 12 inches of rain. These are estimates. They're not the official totals, but a lot of people reporting uh, numbers like nine or 10 inches in Flower Bluff. Some people out near uh, Freer up near 10 to 12 inches of rain. We are done with the rain now, though. The rain's going to be moving away from us as this tropical low heads farther to the north and west. Still, though, a little bit of action on the Duval Jim Wells County line. Uh, that shower is going to be moving to the north and west, but it looks like it's fizzling out and we've got a couple of alerts to get you up to date on. These are going to be expiring the flash flood warning out in Duval County. Uh, that'll expire at seven o'clock this evening and then the flash flood watches will also expire prior to sunset. So again, the rain is going to come to an end. We're going to trade that out for more heat this week. 90 degrees right now in east to southeast wind 17 miles per hour and you see the spin from the tropical low, that's the same system that delivered us all the rain. You see how it's moving to the northwest, pulling all of the rain away from the coastal bend. That's going to continue over the next few days. It'll be quieter here with the exception of a few stray showers. Then later this week, a cold front, a very weak one, is going to move in and stall out over the I-10 corridor. There will be more rain. This is also a drought-stricken part of the state, but more rain expected for uh, central Texas and the hill country on Thursday and Friday because of this. It's not going to make it our way, but over the weekend uh, on Sunday, a little more moisture going to be in our forecast that may translate to another opportunity for rain on Sunday. This is not a slam dunk yet. This will be the feature that we forecast for for the remainder of this week on whether or not we get a little more rain this weekend. For now, it'll be quieter overnight and into tomorrow. There will be a little chance for an isolated shower on the sea breeze front. Temperatures, though, back into the 90s. And then on Wednesday, we do it again with only sparse activity, mainly along the sea breeze front with otherwise partly cloudy to sunny skies and temperatures in the 90s. So just isolated activity Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe more to come as we move into the the weekend, but it looks like we're going to be a lot quieter. This is some satellite error showing up right now. There's no activity expected uh, in the tropics over the next five days. Uh, things look fairly quiet for the next week out there tonight. Isolated rain to the west 77 overnight, partly cloudy southeast wind light at five to 10 miles per hour tomorrow. 92 a stray shower possible, but most are just going to see the sunny to partly cloudy skies. Hot, humid day of weather and southeast wind 7 to 17 miles per hour back to the 90s for the most part tomorrow. Heat index values 100 to 110 throughout the region. Water's going to be fairly quiet given the wind southeast 6 to 12 knots. Just some light chop out there. Also, water temperature taking a little hit with the rain around low 80s now on the sea surface temperatures. Again, aside from that stray shower chance Tuesday, Wednesday, it's back to the hot flavor of weather mid 90s and mainly sunny for Thursday and Friday and a little chance for additional rain on Sunday pending how that moisture moves in. We'll keep our eyes focused on that, but for now, done with this tropical disturbance, back to the heat for the middle of the week. Leslie, Mike. All right, thank you.